Many of you present tonight have served or are currently serving in her ranks, while others here have powerful connections to the men of the regiment and their families. We are all part of the 5th Marines family. One of those unbreakable family connections lives on in Jim and Carla Hogan with us here tonight. Jim and Carla are Gold Star parents, as I mentioned, of Lance Corporal Donald Hogan. As Gold Star parents, they represent all Gold Star families forever bonded to the regiment, a bond that comes at the greatest cost. The veterans who rededicated the streamers to our battle colors this evening also well know the sometimes high cost of serving in the Fighting Fifth. To be a member of a regiment such as ours, one so stalwart in defense of our nation's freedom, is to be a part of something larger than any one man. These veterans are of the same mold as Lance Corporal Donald Hogan, enthusiastic volunteers who in their time, as it was for Donald, knew they could not be any other place than in the ranks of your regiment serving with Brother 5th Marines to their left and to their right. Thus, the rededication of the battle streamers reminds us of the depth and the richness of our history. And the Memorial Park itself reminds us of a cost we cannot and will not forget. Three days ago, I had the privilege of representing the 5th Marines at the opening and dedication of the new World War I exhibit at our National Museum of the Marine Corps in Quantico, Virginia. Wearing my Forger with its powerful magnetic pull, I was able to meet and shake hands with over 100 veterans of the regiment in the course of a morning to early afternoon. From World War II to present, many of the men I spoke with were decades older than I was, but all had youthful eyes as they reminisced about their time. It was a powerful, very personal reminder, as, all, as, is all our, as are all of you here, that service in the Fighting Fifth for all who have worn our precious Forger is a very special thing. Service emblematic of valor and self-sacrifice in keeping with the highest traditions and standards of our Marine Corps and Naval Service and for all of us, this service has been and continues to be a reference point by which to judge all other events in our lives. So tonight, we remember our history. Tonight, we give thanks to our veterans. Tonight, we honor our fallen heroes. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us here to celebrate the 93rd anniversary of your regiment the Fighting Fifth Marines. World War II, Sergeant Major Chuck Harris was stationed on Guam until the Japanese occupied the island when he was taken prisoner for the duration of the hostilities. From 1960 to 1963, Sergeant Major Harris served as the 5th Marine Regimental Sergeant Major.
both works. <laughs> I wish to say something. I'm going to take two minutes. I don't believe in these long garments. Anyway, I was a member of this regiment and very proud to say I was a regimental sergeant major. I had three five to start with, but my good buddy who was a regimental sergeant major here, what he went and done, he threw the headquarters company captain out of his office. That's a no-no, you know. So he, he had a court-martial and transferred, and then the regimental commander says he wanted me up there. So I had never known the regimental commander before. He was a great man. Colonel Tolson A. Smoke. He was a Baptist Southerner and a great man. But what I want to tell you about the 5th Marines, real quick so I can get out of here in that two-minute period. <laughs> and the thing about it is, I enjoyed coming to this regiment, not only the fact that it's a Marine regiment, but it's a regiment that really stands out regardless of where you go. And the regimental commander who had this at the reservoir was Major General Ray Murray, who was a colonel at the time. And I tell you, this man was a real tradition to the Marine Corps. He passed away here not too long ago, and we all really, it really busted us all up when he left us. Great man, two Navy crosses, and just an honest-to-goodness Marine all the way. So when I think of him, I think that is what the Marine Corps has, and we have no fear of ever being out of any regiment that was worth a darn when we have people such as he as a commanding officer. I want to thank you. My pleasure. Korea. Corporal Emmanuel Moreno served as a flamethrower man with 1-5 in Korea. He was involved in actions on the Pusan perimeter and landed on Incheon. Honorable Buell, distinguished guest, it's a privilege and an honor, a bond between us, Marines. Here I am, 81 years old. I'm here to speak in two minutes. The first time in my lifetime, they only gave me two minutes. <laughs> so I'm gonna be real quick. Sir, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an honor to be here today. We have come here in 1947 when we left here in June, July the 14th, 1950, 6,000 of us to hold the perimeter in the Pusan Peninsula. The heaviest, most heaviest casualty in the Korean War was in the Pusan Peninsula. And 9,000 got killed in the Pusan Peninsula. 13,000 were wounded. But like the man said, Chuck Harris, General Murray, Colonel Murray was a good man. We had some good leaders, and we had people from the Second World War that guided us to. And for the young men from Afghanistan and Iraq, it's a privilege and an honor to serve with this Corps, and the 5th Marine will always be in my heart. Thank you. Yeah.